What's up, everybody? It's Tyler here with Dot Esports, and today we are joined by Team Liquid's new jungler, Santorin, after their first win of the spring split against Dignitas. Santorin, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Yeah, so, um, obviously, you got to talk about this match because it feels like this was a uh, bounce back for you guys of sorts because of after that unexpected loss yesterday against um, Immortals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to kind of get your opinion on what the team's mentality was after that game yesterday and how you guys were able to kind of regroup uh, to play as well as you guys did today. Uh, personally, I mean, we just won the login tournament. So obviously, like, we, we already know we're a good team in NA. Um, for the loss yesterday, it felt like it was just, like, very uncharacteristic. I feel like there's a lot of mistakes that we don't normally do. And e even with the ace game, we did the same. There's a lot of bad missteps. I mean, I... Into the top situation, then after that, like we, we, I don't know, like lost our brains and like the ball in too. So like <laughs> basically, th there's a lot of things that we're doing right now that just doesn't really make sense to like how we usually play. And I don't want to like blame it on anything, but I do think like go we played two best of fives, and then like we didn't really like have a full off day or anything like that. So like we're just kind of getting into it again. And when it came to like losing to IMT, I think we win like 99 out of 100 times against them, and that one time was just like the one they actually got. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I feel pretty good about how we're doing right now and I'm sure it's gonna get a lot better. Okay, okay. I mean, cause m I would probably say that most fans, analysts, anybody who watches the LEC, they think that you guys are probably the best team in the league. Um, <laughs> but in your current form, what do you think, like what kind of adjustments do you think this team still needs to take in order to solidify yourselves as that best in the, the LCS? I, I mean, I think the beginning would be winning an actual split. Um, I know we won the login tournament, but a lot of people just consider that like a not really important tournament because it doesn't matter anything in terms of like going to Worlds or anything like that. And mm -hmm. on top of that, it's also so early in the season. So like you don't actually like know how teams are going to look when it matters. Sure. Um, so I think that's like the biggest one. And then the, for me, it's like we're just we're really aggressive as a team. So like there's going to be a lot of missteps. And I think like once we clean out like the intentional feeding kind of thing. Like, I, I feel like we'll actually like stop performing really, really well. Um, I'm just happy we're in the boat where we're looking for a lot of plays and it, we will make mistakes, but I think that's like the right approach to have. And that's what you see in all the regions too, where like top teams like G2 are playing really, really aggressive. And then yeah. when, they, when it actually matters, like you can always cut back a little bit. It's harder to actually like become a more aggressive team. Okay, okay. Now, speaking of the rest of the league, you said that we don't, we're not sure yet how, be how good people are gonna play, um, yeah. which is fair. Um, but the LCS lock-in was a pretty good, like, kind of first taste of all the teams and how they're going to do. And then, of course, we had the first day. But I wanted to get your opinion right now, kind of an early look from you of which teams do you think, from what you've seen so far, are going to be the underrated teams or overrated teams? Or what? who do you think might be, like, your biggest challenge as the season goes by heading into, like, maybe even the playoffs? I think that... Biggest challenge will definitely be C9. Um, they actually have a really strong team. And I know people are giving Fudge a lot of flag right now, but mm. I mean, the, first of all, the guy's a rookie. I mean, I've been in the same position before. You got to get used to like the playing on stage. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure on you. Like it's things that he might not be like naturally comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like when the season progresses, he's going to be stronger and stronger. Like I believe that. And he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. So I think they will be strong when it actually matters. And we got to make sure we're even stronger than that. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I wanted to look a bit ahead because you're a pretty experienced player in your own right. You've played on multiple teams on multiple circumstances, whether it's, you know, a top team like TSM or playing in Europe or, you know, playing in on FlyQuest. Who I remember I talked to you about how you felt like you were, like, underrated for literally the entire <laughs> year. Like, FlyQuest yeah. was in, underrated the entire year. But, like, now it's kind of like a flipped situation, right? Like, you were a top team on FlyQuest, but, like, like you said, underrated. Now you're on Team Liquid, another top team, but it feels like everyone kind of expects you to win everything. So what kind of attitude and mentality shift is kind of needed when you're going from the underdog to the favorite in the course of like literally one off season? Yeah, so I think something I'm really lucky about is on 2015 TSM, we were supposed to just win it all. So like I've kind of had this feeling before, like a lot of pressure, it's a lot more like I would almost say responsibility, like mm. to watch your fans because they expect a lot and you don't want to like disappoint them. Um, whereas like when I was in Flycoast, it's more like any victory, they'll be grateful. Um, <laughs> so it's even like a completely different mindset, but I do feel like I thrive under pressure. Like I, I like when there's pressure on me. And even though like 
in the moment it might feel a little sad having pressure on like it might feel like a little jittery or whatever it might be um i feel like i, I perform better usually like even though like i have that feeling mm -hmm. um and in terms of like being underrated or overrated i actually think right now like if people consider us the best team in NA, I feel like that's properly rated. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like we are the best team. Um, when it comes to like international success, I have no idea how we're going to be performing. But right now, like as the season progresses, I, I assume and I hope that we can continue to be the best team in NA. Okay. Okay. Um, now I want to ask too because this is a again a completely new team for you, new coaching staff, new teammates. Um, what kind of things that you have you had to learn so far kind of adjust with these kind of like you got you have like Alfari in the top lane and Jensen and tactical and core JJ like what are some of the things that you've had to kind of adjust with your your kind of play style or like uh learn as you kind of get your feet wet with this new team I think the biggest thing for me is first of all like my laners are really vocal like they know what they want um which is great so there's it's like the game plan is a lot easier from the get-go, but I also feel like there's so many more possibilities. So I have to figure out like which play is the best one. Um, I feel like a lot of the teams I've been on is like, we'd have like someone that's really good and someone that's like, okay. And then mm. sometimes someone that's bad. It's like, you'd always play to the strong guy, but right. now it's like, there's so many strong pieces. Like you can, I can basically play anything. You um, choose so, whoever. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a jungler's dream, but you still have <laughs> to like adapt to that play style and like actually know like you can do anything. Um, so for example, in a lot of games, I can get double scuttle or like a, we can early dive someone and th that's like place that as a jungler it feels great but it's like you have to find the situations to do that and i think that's yeah. like something i'm adapting to um i think i'm doing an okay job right now but i can definitely improve i think that's all i have for you today man so it's great to talk to you again it's always great to talk to you uh and thank you viewers for uh tuning in if you want more in-depth lcs coverage and interviews make sure to sub to the dot esports youtube channel i'll catch you all next time